In today's video, we will create this animation in PowerPoint to reveal any text we want in our presentations with one click. Let's get it started. As always, we are going to start by deleting the default content from our brand new presentation. And now we are going to add a rectangle that covers almost the entire slide. Like this. The next step is to add three rounded rectangles that will help us create our tabs. Now let's group the rounded rectangles together. Next, while having the rounded rectangle selected, hold shift, click on the first rectangle we added and click on align, align middle. Now we are going to group everything. Let's zoom out a little bit and move everything to the edge, like this. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is how our tabs will look like. I think it's fine. Um, let's go back and ungroup everything, including the rounded rectangles. Now we're going to duplicate our slide a couple times, and look at this. Here on the third slide, select both the big rectangle and the third rounded rectangle. Go to Shape Format, Merge, Union. Delete the other rounded rectangles we have here, and congratulations, we have created our first tab. Let's do the same on the second slide, but this time we're going to use the second round rectangle to create our second tab. Delete the other two rounded rectangles. Finally, it's time to do the same on the first slide. Oops, let me see. Um, okay, so let me go to Shape Format, Merge, Union, and delete the other two rounded rectangles as well. Now it's time to add some text to our tabs. So let's add a subtitle. This one will be the third subtitle, as this tab will be the last one to show up during the slideshow. Let me change the font color and the font type. Let's adjust the size and center the text. Now it's time to add the description for this subtitle. I'm adding a dummy description here just to show you how it looks like with two or three lines of text. Next, we are going to insert an icon. Mm, let's see. This one is fine. Let's move it over here, make it a little smaller, and now let's add a circle to make our icon look better. Right click on it, go to Format Shape, and change the line color to white. And for the dash type, we may use this one. Now let's move the circle over here. Right click on it, go to send to back and select send backward. We just need to change the color of this icon and move the icon and the circle over here. Next, we are going to copy and paste this text on the other two slides. This will be the second subtitle, and we are going to change the icon. Let's remove this one and adjust the new one to fit our circle.
Now we are going to copy and paste once again. And this will be the first subtitle. Let's change the icon one more time. Um, we can probably use this one. And let's make the corresponding changes. Now we're gonna group all the elements of our description. Hold shift in your keyboard and click on the subtitle. Now go to Align, Align Center. Group everything once again. Hold shift and click on the top. Go to Align, Align Center, Align, Align Middle. Next we need to do the same with the other two tabs. Now we are going to group each tab with its corresponding text. We are doing this so we can animate everything with only one animation per tab. It is time to change the color of our tabs. Don't you worry, you can do it even if the tabs are already inside a group. Of course, you can also do it before grouping everything. Also, remember you don't have to use the same colors I'm using here. I'm just sharing the idea. The final design is yours. Now we're gonna add the animation, so click on the first subtitle, go to Animations, Add animations, motion paths, lines. And let's change the direction to the right. Next, click on the animation, click on the red bubble, drag and drop to the end position you want for the tab. Remember, the tab is not supposed to cover the entire slide during the presentation, so make sure you leave a portion of the slide uncovered, like this. Let's give it a try. Perfect. So to add the rest of the animations for all our tabs to move in the same way, we are going to click on this tab. Click on the animation painter and now go and paste this animation in our second tab, like this. Click on the animation painter once again, go to the first subtitle and do the same. Now let's go back to the second subtitle. Copy this tab and paste it over the first one. Now go to the third subtitle copy and paste. Let's zoom out a little bit. Select everything and go to Home, Arrange, Align, Align Center, Arrange, Align, Align Middle. Let's move the tabs a little bit so they are on the desired initial position. Open the animation pane just to make sure all the animations start on click. And now we can delete the first and second slides. Now it's time to work with the background. So right click on the slide, Format Background. Click on Picture and on Insert. Stock Images. And I have an illustration here that I use for this example. So you choose whatever image you prepare. You 
you can also change the transparency as I did here. And now let's add a main title to our slide. Let's make some adjustments and make sure it's properly aligned. Right click on the text and send to back. Time to take a look at the result. And there you have it! I hope you find this animation useful. By now, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell icon to get a notification whenever I submit a new video. Take care and see you next time!